Hi everyone, Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. I feel like it's been forever since I've painted, but I went back to work this week and well, what are you gonna do? So I'm back and today I'm going to do some roses. And first thing I'm going to do is, well, let me tell you, I'm working on Kirkland photo paper. And yes, I need a manicure desperately. I'm using my Revlon uh, hair dryer. I'm also going to be using the embossing gun. And first thing I want to do is spray my paper with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm going to put down some greens where I want my foliage. I'm going to keep my roses pretty much centered in the middle. So that color was botanical and now I'm going to use a little lettuce which is my personal favorite green. And we'll do one more. I'm going to use limeade. And then in the center, I'll use some cranberry. I'm going to use a little wild plum. And I'm going to give this one more squirt of alcohol. And then I'm going to use my blow dryer to move the inks around a bit. So I'm using the pool setting instead of the heat. Okay, so I used the pool setting instead of the um, heat because I find that it gives me less of those hard lines, but that could just be all in my head. Now I have my mini mister. I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol in that to soften this up just a little bit. And now I'm going to put it on low heat. Okay. Now this is the part where I will be using the um, embossing gun. And the reason I use the embossing gun for uh, my roses is because I feel it gives me better detail in the rings. Let me just refill my 
bottle of alcohol, and I'll be right back. It's right in front of me, of course. Okay. Oh, by the way, let me tell you, if the lighting for my video seems better than usual, it's because my honey bought me this gigantic light ring that I've been wanting, and actually he got me more than I needed. It's, uh, I think it makes a real difference, so I hope that you can see it. All right, now getting back to the painting. I'm going to put down some um, large puddle of alcohol where I want my first rose. I'm going to take my embossing gun and I'm going to move that alcohol around, but not in a ring. Not in a circle. I'm just pushing it back and forth. And I don't mind that the green is mixing with the red. And I'm trying to keep the embossing gun far away from the paper so that it doesn't warp it because it gets really hot, so you have to be careful. So by moving the ink puddle back and forth instead of in a circle, you start to get what looks like petals of a rose. Now you can use the blow dryer for this, but I don't feel that you get the same detail that you do with the embossing gun. I do have a video where I show the difference between the embossing gun and the blow dryer, so you can check that out and you'll see what I mean. Now, if you see that the center is getting a little too dry, you can add another drop of alcohol. And if you think that it's too wet, you can always use a cotton swab and mop up some of the ink. There's my first rose. Let's put another one here. So just keep moving the embossing gun and pushing the ink inward in different directions trying to keep it at a safe distance so your paper doesn't warp I'll show you. If you think that you have too much ink in the center, you want it to be lighter, you can just use a cotton swab and mop some of it up and then use a little drop of alcohol so it becomes lighter. Okay, now I need a little bit more. Along. 
And if you get towards the center and you want that, those, um, those rings, you can start going in a circle if you like. That's pretty awesome. Let's put another one here. Mop up some of this, right? Put another drop of alcohol in there. I want this center to be lighter. I'm going to finish putting these roses in and then I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I got my roses down and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a paintbrush and I'm going to put a little alcohol in a cup. Right now I'm using the lid to my spray and I'm going to make sure that I clean the brush off a little bit before I start making my leaves. And I'm just running the brush through the ink that's already down in the paper. I'm just finding patterns in the ink that already look like leaves. And I'm just pulling the brush through the ink.
hiding over here. And the more you go over it as the ink dries, the more veining you get. doesn't take much effort. And you don't have to be good at drawing, just take your paintbrush and run it through like you're creating the veins of a leaf. You can use a smaller brush also if you want to create smaller leaves. Let's take this one here and create some small leaves. So first I'm creating the center vein, not even sure if that's the right terminology, but you know what I mean. Just keep running your brush through it. Even if there's pink, it's okay, because I also have roses with the green, some soft green ones that are really pretty. So you can continue with this process and add leaves wherever you like. And then you can also go over them with a Posca pen to highlight them a little bit more. I've done that in the past. I think it's video number 44 and 45. I posted them today since I haven't posted anything in a while since I went back to work. But this is the same process, 
and it's a really pretty and very soft look. So I'm going to continue adding petals, I mean rather leaves. You can also add some more ink if you'd like. Um, let's say you want, this is very light over here, you want it a little bit darker, put a little bit of ink on your palette, run your brush through it, dry it off a little bit, and add some more color. I'm using lettuce to create this one. Let's try a little of the botanical. I'm going to mix that right with the lettuce. I'm going to add one here. So that you see what I mean. So if you feel like you don't have enough color in an area, don't be afraid to add some. And I just continue to go over it, and as the ink evaporates, it looks more and more like a leaf. I'm not trying to make it look like an actual leaf. Just the illusion. Again, they're very soft. Everything is really soft in this painting. Just trying to fill in that white spot there. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to answer and I try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, let me know what you think about the lighting in this video with my new light ring. I will um, try and add the link for it in the uh, description box below. Everything that I use for this video will be listed in the description box below. So take a look if you want to know what it is that I'm using, my compressor, or um, although I didn't use that today, uh, the embossing gun, or the blow dryer. Also, the link for the paper, photo paper, is in there as well. And if you should give this a try, please tag me in it so that I can see it. Tag Vivo Vintage Designs or uh, Jeanette Vivo. My art page is uh, Vivo Vintage Designs because I'd love to see it. I don't often get to see when people try my techniques or whatever I've taught. So that's a, a good way for me to track how you guys are doing and whether my videos are helping you. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I'll play with this a little bit more after the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and learned anything. Um, leave your questions in the comments. Check out that description box for all the items used in this video. Also, all my art is for sale. If you see something that you like, contact me through my Facebook page, Vivo Vintage Designs. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.